I recently stumbled upon a few of these videos claiming to be recorded in 432Hz and let me just get to the point, you can't do that. But before we go into the nitty gritty, I don't want to accuse any of these guys of lying and I would ask you not to send any hate towards them. They likely just wanted to jump on a trend, looked up how to convert something to 432Hz and called it a day. I will get into why this doesn't really work with ASMR, but first let's take a look at these two numbers right here. What is 432 and 440Hz? Well, Hertz is the unit which we use to measure at what frequency a cycle or event is repeated per second. Coming back to audio, an example for such an event would be a guitar string going up and down. If I were to play the open E string for example, the string would go up and down about 82 times a second, therefore being 82 Hertz. This would of course not be the case if the guitar was out of tune or used a different tuning entirely. But we can establish an important connection here. Frequencies or hertz can also refer to notes. Here is what each note would translate to in hertz. And here we end up with the note A being 440 hertz. A440, also known as Stuttgart pitch, is the musical pitch which serves as a tuning standard for the musical note of A, commonly used as a reference frequency to calibrate acoustic equipment and to tune pianos, violins and other musical instruments. But here's the thing. Some people prefer the sound of instruments being tuned in reference to 432 Hz instead of 440. The Schiller Institute, for example, recommended a tuning for A of 432 Hz, which is for the Pythagorean ratio of 27 to 16, rather than the logarithmic ratio of equal temperament tuning. And well, that's basically why we have these two frequencies now. And you should be able to see why ASMR can't just be tuned to 432 Hz or 440 Hz for that matter. These are singular notes or frequencies used by other notes as reference point. But voices and sounds aren't just based on one frequency, it's the result of a bunch of frequencies coming together to form a sound. Sounds and voices don't really have a tuning. They of course can have a certain pitch which you can shift up or down but they don't really have a tuning that you could put into categories like you can with these two frequencies. Unless of course you count singing, which can be in tune with other instruments of course, but we're focusing on ASMR, where usually we whisper, so that's kind of irrelevant right now. So I hope this misconception has been cleared up for all of you. But now, how did this trend even start and why are the people out there saying that they prefer the sound of these videos? I guess the question we should ask is, do these videos sound any different from other ASMR videos? And the answer, surprisingly, is yes, they actually do. So here's what's happening. Like I mentioned earlier, some people prefer the sound of instruments or songs that use 432 Hz as a reference point. So there are converters out there that slightly pitch down music to get them from 440 Hz down to 432 Hz tuning. So these ASM artists put their audio into these converters and BOOM! It is ever so slightly pitched down. That's why some people believe to hear a difference, because there is indeed a difference. So if you wanted to be factually correct, instead of naming them 432 Hertz, you would have to name them slightly pitched down ASMR videos. And to be fair, it just doesn't have the same ring to it, but that's just the truth. Because like I said, voices and sounds don't really have a tuning. The TLDR to this video would be, there is no such thing as 432Hz ASMR. The videos are just slightly pitched down. I hope this video helped you understand the difference between these two frequencies and how this misinformation came to be. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.